Thanks Chef IQ for sponsoring this video. You are about to see one of the most insane experiments I've ever done in my life. This is as scientific as it gets. And it's all happening because of the trip I took to Korea. Because on that video, this is what happened. What does the water do? Uh -huh. More texture, uh, more delicious. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the best temperature for the fermented for the meat. For fermenting the meat. And how long does he normally wet age? 50 days wet aging. Yes. Wow. And what is the temperature? Zero until four degrees Celsius. Oh. Zero to four degrees yes, Celsius. Right. This is something I'm gonna have to try to see if it really does any difference or not because I've never heard of this water aging video coming up real shortly so to run this experiment properly i got this beautiful three bones rib roast it is prime grade and it should be perfect for today's experiment now in order to be consistent with this experiment i'm cutting all three steaks from the same roast as you can see once i was done i was left with three beautiful steaks they're nice and thick and exactly what i was looking for now the next thing to do is to go ahead and bag them up once all of the steaks were vacuum sealed they are now ready this one will be our control into the freezer it goes and it will stay there. Next up is something called wet aging. Believe it or not, every steak that you buy on your supermarket has been wet aged already. Usually they do it for 28 days. The only thing I have to do is to leave it in my refrigerator, nothing else. Now the next one, it's going to be quite weird. It will be our water aging experiment. The first thing I needed was a container. So I went ahead and got this fish tank. I filled it up with purified water. That's because I don't want any bacteria growing on this whatsoever. Next, I needed the water to be constantly circulating. So I used a fish tank marine pump. The theory is this, since water is a great conductor, opening and closing the refrigerator will have no sudden changes on temperature. Now the key is to maintain it anywhere between 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 39. So in order to do that, I completely cleaned my entire refrigerator, threw my steak in there, closed it up, and the next important thing was to ensure no one would ever open this. As now, the only thing left to do was to wait for 50 days. Once the time was up, I took it out, and luckily my pump was still working. But since the refrigerator was nice and cold, a little bit of ice was formed. So I went ahead, took it out, and did the same thing with the wet aging. And side by side, you guys can see a clear difference. The wet aging is still red. The water aging, on the other hand, is completely different. I'm curious to see how the steaks are gonna feel. So after opening them up, you can clearly see that the wet aging still looks like a fresh steak. Now that is very promising. The water aging, on the other hand, it's not that much difference. Even though one is much redder than the other, the biggest difference came when I went to hold them. As I'm analyzing the wet aging steak, this one feels extremely tender on my hand already. It also smells totally fine. Now when I jumped into the water aging one, there's one huge difference. It feels even more tender and the fat is kind of slimy. It is rendering on my fingers as soon as I touch it. There's also a very unique smell, kind of like sour. Yeah, they are both quite different. Now don't forget that I also have the control. We will be putting all of them to the test and see how different they're gonna be. The goal is, if this makes the steaks better, then everything I know about dry aging is about to change. For the seasoning, I kept it quite simple. A good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper. Once the steaks were fully seasoned, they were now ready. And just in case this experiment goes south, I wanted to go ahead and make an awesome side dish for us. And I'll tell you one thing, it will please anyone. Now to make it, it's super simple and here's how. The first thing to do is to make the filling. So I got some ground pork and added some sesame oil, followed by soy sauce, ginger, green onion, garlic, a good amount of salt, followed by black pepper. Now mix everything well and my filling was ready. The next thing we're gonna need is wonton wrappers. I grab one sheet, moisture the edges with water, add a little bit of the filling inside, and pinch all four edges together just like this. As you can see, once I was done, they were closed up. The next thing to do is to go ahead and fry them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it's fully golden brown, take them out and they should be looking just like like this. Now to finish that off, it's even simpler. You want to go ahead and add a nice delicious sauce. For that, I got some Japanese mayo, followed by sesame oil and sriracha. Mix everything well and my sauce was done. To add some extra color and flavor, I threw in some spring onions, followed by Korean chili flakes. Now this is today's side dish. As you can see, it is super simple to make and I can guarantee you one thing, it will be delicious. I cannot say the same exact thing about today's experiment. As now, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook them. 
First, I'll be putting a nice, wonderful sear. Once that's done, I'll be cooking them in indirect heat until I reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And for that, I'm going to be using my Chef IQ thermometers. So now I say, it is enough talking and it is time to grill some beautiful steak. So let's do it. <laughs> Does that look good or what? And before we try it, I want to thank today's sponsor, Chef Ikeo. As you guys know, I have cooked a lot of steaks. Here's the deal. To get the perfect steak every single time, there's only one secret. Use the right meat thermometer. And this Chef Ikeo smart thermometer is what I use to get the perfect steak every time. It's got fast charging technology, so you only have to charge the thermometer for five minutes to get 20 hours of cook time. It has a USB-C chargeable hub station that makes charging easy. Plug in the hub, pop in a probe, and it charges automatically. The hub even has audio alerts. So if it's time to flip, baste, or remove from the heat. You can get notifications on your phone and from the hub. On top of that, it has built-in Wi-Fi technology. Cloud technology gives real-time notifications for unlimited range, so no matter where you are, you can always watch those steaks. And if you're smoking some barbecue, leave the house and you still know how it's doing just by opening up the app on your phone. Use the Chef IQ app to make amazing meals with guided cooking. The app even has easy-to-follow recipes. Chef IQ makes cooking easy. Just insert the probe, set the temp, cook your food, and enjoy. Check them out. All links will be on the description below. Thanks again, Chef IQ, for sponsoring today's video, but now let's Let's get right back to it. All right, everybody, here we got our beautiful steak with a nice side dish. What do you guys think, gentlemen? I'm super excited. This looks like it's gonna be an amazing video. Look at these monster steaks on a Google Food set. Plus, we got the bones too. This is gonna be awesome. We got some thick slices today. We got the bone on the table. <laughs> Can't complain. All right, I got a little experiment going on, all right? I really need you to be as honest as possible. I need you to pinpoint these steaks as much as you can. They're different from each other, and we gotta let the audience know. This is a big deal. Bring out the palate, boys. Enough talking, let's dig in. Please, we're gonna start this direction. Let's go. Let's do it. Nice, medium, rare, just the way you like it, yes, Leo? Of course, of you course. You like well done? Oh. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I don't ever want to hear those words uttered from your mouth again, Google. No well done around here. We're not playing around. Enough talking, everybody. Cheers. 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 Oh, wow. Mm. Now that is what I am talking about, everybody. It's just marvelous. Oh man, that steak is so good. I just went in for another bite. I don't even want to describe it. It's so delicious. If you ask me, this is what a perfect steak is. Beefy, salty, flavor is perfect. Nice and tender, juicy, just the way I like it. What do you think, Mr. Description Guy? I love it. I agree. Okay, enough. Now I want to see if there's an improvement. Please, gentlemen, dig in. Just looking at it, it already looks more tender. Really? Yeah. Interesting. All right, let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh man. Looks like a little bit more beefy. Mm -hmm. I would say even a little bit more tender than the previous one. It cuts like butter. Very little resistance on it. Again, has that nice beefy flavor and that charcoal really comes through giving nice little added notes to the steak, making it more flavorful and more delicious. It's just wonderful, everybody. It tastes better. It feels better when you're biting every single bite. Juices explode in your mouth. It's just phenomenal. Angel, what do you think? I mean, you guys did all the describing right now. I mean, look. I, we're somehow going up. I don't yeah. know what the hell is going on, but we are going up. Well, going up is a good thing. Would you say it's an improvement on a steak? What do you think, Leo? I agree. I definitely think it is an improvement from the previous steak. And I know people say that we eat steaks every day. We don't. But I wish I could eat this one every day, boys. This is really good. Very good. Very delicious. I'm excited to try the next one, but let's go ahead and try the side dish first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please grab one. This is, looks like our regular wonton, but it's not, okay? So there's a little surprise for you inside. You know, sometimes wonton, you get, uh, you know, cream cheese in the middle. I need, I need to take some of these off. I want to go smell the side dish of one of these little green onions went in my nose. <laughs> we don't need to know that, bro. All right, sorry, TMI, <laughs> TMI. Are you serious? Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, mm. that's ridiculously good. Was that mayo? Spicy mayo. And just like that, it's gone. <laughs> 
The exterior is nice and crispy. As soon as you break through that crust, you get that nice soft meat inside and it's actually pretty juicy too. Plus a lot of that flavor, that sweet and spicy tang that you get from the sauce. That's a great side dish. My only complaint is that it's not bigger. <laughs> I know you need some more. I agree hundred percent. Now the deal is I actually made mandu filling, but instead of using the mandu dumpling dough, I actually use one ton dough. So it's kind of like a little fusion, let's just say. I'm looking at you and I'm nodding my head. I have no idea what mandu is. Yeah, no, it's a Korean dumpling. <laughs> Korean dumpling, okay, yes. now I know what it is. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a Korean dumpling. It's just to die for. Enough talking because it's time. Hell yeah. All right, let's see. Please give me your honest opinion on this one. I want to know oh. everything. Damn, I, I dripped some steak juices on the table. I'm sorry, guys. What's new? <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. Why? What do you mean why? You did this. We're wondering why. It's more juicy, it's more beefy. There's a slight sourness too. There wow. is a sourness, everybody. It's a very mild thing. I think the sourness that you're trying to describe is more like a fermented in a certain way. It's just something so different. Wow. Guys, I, I'm usually pretty good at picking the taste, but this doesn't have like an off taste. It just, it is a better taste and you really just, you can't pinpoint it. I agree. I use a very weird technique that I've never used before. Well, you gotta do it again. <laughs> yeah. It's straight up from Korea. And uh, I'll tell you one thing, everybody. I need to experiment a little bit more with this technique because it did make the steak better for me. How about you, Leo? Definitely made the steak better. I need to experiment right now. I need to experiment a little more right <laughs> Take now. Take the bone, bro. Take Give the me bone. the bone. <laughs> if you guys want to give this a try, you can do it at home, but I want to learn more. I want to know what the hell happened now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So it's water aging technique. You gotta watch the video. Okay. So, water aging. Mm -hmm, it's quite unique. Whoa. Now, I will tell you this. It made the steak better, everybody. I need to learn more about this technique. But these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. Remember, everything I use is always in the description down below. Quick reminder, make sure to check out Chef IQ Smart Thermometer on the link on the description down below. This is an awesome thermometer. If you get yourself one, you're gonna be real happy. Find my Chef IQ exclusive recipes available only in the free Chef IQ app. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.